In this video, I'm going to be showing how I did this a very pretty chrome powder with a snowflake snail design. Before I begin doing this nail design, I'm just going to say up front that I am nowhere near an expert on chrome powder. I have moments where I do it and it works perfectly, and I have moments where I do it where it does not work at all. So this is by Knowledge of Chrome Powder. Chrome powder is originally put over gel and it is sealed in with a gel top coat. However, I don't work with gel, nor am I comfortable working with gel. So I am using a normal black nail polish. This is Essie's Licorice. I am using a white nail polish. This is called Snow White from Zoya. I am using a regular top coat. This is the Good Kind Pure top coat from Sally Hansen. And I am using a peel off base coat. This is the chrome powder that I'm using. It is this really pretty rose gold one. It kind of matches the background here. This really pretty rose gold one. And I'm using a eyeshadow applicator to use it. Now, I already did my thumb and my index finger. I'm also using a stamping plate that has some snowflakes on it. So I'm just gonna say this up front. The reason why I'm using a peel off base coat is because apparently using a regular top coat over chrome powder it can dull the effect it can make it go sparse glittery look and apparently it just doesn't work they say to use of all the nail art videos that I've watched on this they say to use either a water-based top coat or a peel-off base coat and I have the peel-off base coat from Hunt and I actually got this on Amazon so let's get started so I already applied one coat of a black nail polish to all my nails. Like I said, that was Essie's Licorice. And now I'm going to apply a thin layer of this top coat. And the reason why I'm doing a thin layer is because you want this to um, dry somewhat fast, but at the same time, you don't want to take any chances of it being smudged. I am doing two. I am doing two nails at a time here. Okay. I'm also going to use a cleanup brush as well as a fan brush which I will show in a minute why. I'm going to let this this top coat dry for a few minutes because like I said you want it to be in the dentable stage but you don't want it to be too wet that you smudge it. Okay now that my top coat is tacky or still dentable I'm going to take a very small amount of the chrome powder because a little goes a long way and I'm going to very gently and I mean very gently rub this into my nail I really love the look of chrome powder but like I said I'm not comfortable working with gel polish especially with the removal process because of how easily you can damage your nails when it comes to chrome powder I'm willing to you know I'm willing to figure out how to do this because I think chrome powder is so pretty and then I take the fan brush and I just blow the extra the extra powder away. And I'm going to do this again on my ring finger. You want to do this very gently because you don't want to smudge your nails. to switch it over to the other side to just very gently level it all out and then once again take my fan brush and blow the extra powder away there we go okay so this is what my nails look like with the snowflakes on them I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do the pinky finger and then once again do the stamping off camera because like I said I don't know what's going on with my stampers or with my stamping plate because normally they work perfectly fine however I don't know if I'm if I should clean my I don't know if it's because I haven't cleaned my scraper in a while or what it is but um, it's not working but to all the chrome powder on and the snowflakes on this is a really really pretty design I'm going to go ahead and add the water based or the peel off base coat And like I said at the beginning of this video, I've had times where this has worked perfectly fine. 
and I have had times where this does not work and I've had a few moments where it works for an hour I'm not even kidding when I say this it works for an hour and then it will go dull and it's just in one spot or it will um, or it will almost like come off the nail so like I said I am nowhere near an expert at this whatsoever but I really like chrome powder so I am trying every single solution I can think of or heard of to see if this works so that's how you that's how you supposedly work with chrome powder